Hey everybody, it's been a while, but uh, I've been moving cross country, so <clears throat> haven't had much time to make videos. But anyways, uh, nonetheless, we are moving forward, and today we're going to go over the Feather Artist Club Straight Razor SS Black. This is a um, Kamisori, but it's a, um, you know, you can change the blade. So it's like a disposable straight razor. This was my first um, straight razor, even though this isn't a uh, traditional straight razor. It's pretty fun. It's pretty cool. They run on Amazon for a little over 100 bucks. I think you could find them for probably $110, or if you go to a different website, maybe $120. Um, so the cool thing about this is it is like a straight razor. It's kind of, the technique is very similar. Um, and again, it was my first straight razor. Uh, and it actually was kind of like a gateway into the traditional straight razors that I use now. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, get rid of this thing. I've been on vacation for a few days, so I let this little nonsense grow out while keeping these pretty well shaven. So um, we're gonna use this um, and do a couple passes. And we'll be using the uh, feather blades that go with these, which um, are Japanese. You can order these. There's 20 um, disposable blades that you can you can use in here. These are about $16 on Amazon. They're the feather. Uh, they're specifically made for this. You can also interchange them with a couple other razors. But um, what happens is, so you get a little dispenser like this. And you basically press it till it clicks and then push and out comes your blade. And this thing's super crazy sharp. So what you do is, is you set it in between the spacing on, it kind of sits, sits right in there on the opening. Then you press, and I'm trying to do this up in the air, you press down and give it a little movement, try to not cut my finger, and then it seats. So um, if you want to check it, you, obviously you should make sure it's straight and seated. Sometimes, um, you know, I use the corner to press down to uh, just make sure it's seated fully. See, like I just did the corners to do that. Um, you know, obviously you don't want to mess with the edge of the blade while you're doing that. And then this is super sharp, ready to go. So what we're going to do is we're going to use um, my standard Omega bore brush. It's been chilling in my classic uh, vintage 1786 Old Spice mug. You can get these on eBay for like 30, 40 bucks, depending if people still have them. It's, uh, they're probably yellowed a little bit. I was lucky enough to get this one. It's pretty nice still. Anyways, this has been soaking. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, wet my face. Today we'll be <clears throat> using Taylor Bold Bond Street Almond Shaving Cream. Stuff's awesome, smells really great. Smells like an almond cookie. And uh, we'll get rock and rolling. We're gonna do a face lather today. For those of you who don't know uh, how I do that, basically take a little um, shaving cream, maybe like a peanut size, put it center um, of my brush, make sure my face is wet, and then uh, make sure the brush is, brush is still damp, and then start, start the lather. <laughs> what I do is, um, this grip is excellent, and the way that you use this is you, I like to hold it as if you were, if you were holding a straight razor, you would hold it the same way, except your other portion um, that rotates would come up and you would hold it um, in the notch right here. So since it's straight, you still hold it the same way with your thumb 
um, on the bottom and then your fingers resting on the top. And you'll still shave exactly as you would with the normal um, traditional skirt razor. However, you kind of have some extra playroom through here. So I like to give myself some extra control with my pinky and my ring finger. The grip is excellent. It's like a rubbery, um, so you don't like have to use alum. Um, but it's great. And nonetheless, like I said, you, you, you shave like you would with a traditional razor. Super nice, super light, um, just, just perfect. It's 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 like the perfect introductory, uh, introductory. You know what I mean. Perfect first round uh, razor. Even though it is a Kamasori, which is a Japanese style straight razor, um, it was great for me. <laughs> I was actually living in Japan at the time, so it kind of made sense. But uh, it's just this is just amazing. It's it's one of my favorite go tos for uh, getting rid of nastiness like this. Uh, it's just, the, the blades are so sharp and it's perfectly um, balanced. Uh, it's just a great little razor. I do want to say though that um, I did, the first time I d did use this, I cut the shit out of myself right here. I'll show you the scar later, but it is super sharp. Um, definitely same technique that you use when you're doing your double edge, or if you're learning how to do straight razor, you make sure you get that angle correctly and let the razor do the work. Um, if you're pulling, if it's pulling, um, or if it's you know cutting your skin, then your angle's wrong and you're putting too much pressure or your blade, you need, you need to uh, switch out your razor blade. But right now, it's perfect. Just cut right through that stash, no problem. <laughs> I'm sure all the people out there are going to say I could have done a better lather, which I could have. Just trying to go quick right here. Again, right through. Look at all that nonsense. Easy day. Easy day. I'm trying to go quicker on this one because I actually had one of somebody in the comments say that I normally speed these up, but um, had somebody in the comments say that I was supposed to, I didn't know this, when you do these videos, you're supposed to, uh, <laughs> sorry, I don't read either. You're supposed to leave the volume and everything in the motion so that you can hear the blade cut through the hair. So, yeah. Just slicing through that. No problem at all. And when you're going through, you know, your curves, I got a gnarly butt chin. So when you're going through those type of curves, you just, again, let the razor do the work and it's so smooth.
I haven't used this razor in a long, long time. All right, I'm gonna clean up and get ready for a second pass. Okay, Rhett lathering for my second pass. Okay. All right, we're gonna hit it. <clears throat> second pass was down. I'm gonna go across now um, from nose to ear. I'll go against the grain on my chin. This thing is, it's awesome. This is a great shape. Let me get this guy. But, uh, <clears throat> I'll probably do a cleanup pass and we're good to go. It's great, great so far. So what I like to do on my cleanup passes, um, I don't know if you've seen them in some of my other videos, basically get the what's left on the brush, kind of put it on my skin and feel around for things and places that I missed. Like right there. And I'm telling you, this thing is awesome. So maybe a little bit right there. A little bit right there and that's pretty much it this thing is uh it's great with two passes so <clears throat> Again, you know, it's the grip is so good. My hands are soaking wet and I still feel confident enough to hold because it's like this rubber feels the exact same as if you alumed your hands uh, in order to get a good grip. All right, we're good to go. Um, yeah. 
I'm gonna wash up and then we'll uh, talk about some final remarks. <clears throat> so I'm gonna hit with uh, some alum just to see how it did. I know that I nicked myself right there. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Like I said, this thing, super sharp, cut the crap out of me. Um, when I first did it, my first one, there's my scar right there. So, uh, you know, it is, a, it is a straight razor, you know, even though it's disposable, that thing is a feather and it is sharp. Um, for those of you who know about feathers, it is a feather blade and it is very sharp. Hit the alum, see how we did. Really good. Nothing so far. Like I said, I haven't shaved with that razor in probably a good year. But uh, it was my first straight razor like I was talking about. And um, I normally use it when I'm trying to get rid of like uh, some thick you know, effects that I've, like I said, when I, when I have the chance, I normally can't grow out anything, but when I have a few days of vacation or whatever, I'll try and do a little goatee or whatever, and some mustache action, and then this thing, I'll usually get, use it to get it off, so, okay, final remarks for the Feather Artist Club Black SS Straight Razor Commissory. Like I said, this is my first and probably one of my favorite um, straight razors. It's very cool. Like I said, it's kind of an entry level um, straight razor because the blades are disposable. So you don't have to worry about stroking or um, making sure that your blade um, edges is, is you know, shave ready. So it's a perfect entry level to get you from that double edge safety razor to the straight razor game. It's perfectly balanced. It's um, pretty light overall, but it, it's got a perfect weight to it. The grip is excellent because like I said, even with a super wet hand, you don't have a problem manipulating it. Um, the This portion is metal. It's not plastic. This is like a rubber, like I said, <clears throat> and you can get these on Amazon for a little over a hundred, you know, 100, 110, 120 bucks. And um, overall, excellent shave. Like I said, it, it only nipped me once, and I think it's because it's been about a year since I've used this thing, so it'll still get you. But, uh, <clears throat> and the blades come in a 20 pack little cartridge. Um, they're about 15, 16 dollars, so. Overall, this one's a bit bit pricey, but you know, not too bad for a, you know gateway, cool, different straight razor because it is a Kamisori, which is the Japanese style straight razor, and um, I love it. It's one of my favorite um, razors in my shave then. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you have any questions about anything, you know, hit me up in the comments and. Uh, Hope you enjoyed. Thank you.